Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are having us on this journey to unconditional love. And so we are on the eve of the eclipse and what I wanted to say was a quick update and just a really exciting time um, because um, I did healing today for people and I'm doing them all day tomorrow and will be over this because... It's just a really good time to let everything go and write a new story, walk a new chapter. Because to, I was going to tell you a few things that I saw in healings, which again, very powerful analogies of what's going on. So in one, the Divine Masculine was um, blindfolded and he had um, a broom and he was spinning around the broom with his head, you know, like when you do it when you were kids. And... He came, uh, he let the broom go and he was really, really dizzy and like staggering everywhere. But his divine feminine was stood there. And so she caught him. And when he took the blindfold off, he said, wow, you've always been there for me. And um, I didn't know which way to think or which my head was all over the place kind of thing. Um, but you caught me and it was it was basically that sense that she would always be there she was the rock that would always keep him in balance so that was one the next one um another divine masculine with his head in his hands basically say and it was like a vice in his head and he just said that he felt like his head was being put in a vice because he had all of this stuff going on in his head and what he wanted to do was just he wanted to be able to let it all go and then we saw um, a signpost and on the signpost it had every which way it had hearts on it just like this little hearts everywhere and I just the healing was that he has to just let go and follow his heart and not let all the man mental stuff get in the way because as soon as he takes a step forward then the pathways will all open up to love and uh, so that was another one another one was um so I feel like the Divine Masculine or Divine Counterparts are very much, you know, mentally, there's so much going on in their head. They really are being shaken up to the core. And um, the next one was about two of them, they were in go-kart. And they were going through, um, around a track that was a figure of eight. And then on the top of the mountain, and the mountain was full of trees and snow, I could see there was a big golden castle. And um, they were going up through the mountains and it was beautiful scenery and it was just gorgeous. Snow and amazing trees, but the road was like really windy and quite treacherous. So I felt them go through all these different emotions, like scared and then like wonder and then all of these different emotions. And when we got up to the top to the Golden Castle, um, the, uh, I heard that the destination wouldn't be the same if you'd missed out that journey so basically if you'd got a lift just straight to the top of the castle you would never have seen any of those amazing things and had those incredible experiences um where they pushed you to the edge and even though it was scary at the same time it has made the experience so much more valuable and made the experience of getting to the golden castle so much more incredible so, you know, and this is, again, very symbolic of the whole Twin Flame journey. Yes, it's a bumpy ride. Yes, it is like getting on a roller coaster that you can't get off. Yes, it's like nothing that you'll ever, ever experience. And you can't explain it to anyone unless anyone's been in the same situation. But it is the most exhilarating, the most mind-blowing experience ever as well. Now... When I was feeling, and those were sort of the themes. So the themes were, again, very much in their head, thinking, freaking out, just feeling like, you know, the divine, the divine counterparts make them feel dizzy with this kind of like, you know, the, you know, that they know that they want to be with them, and they know that that is so powerful, that feeling, right? The, the, and also the feeling of passion for them as well, that kind of like real, raw passion as well, which again is beautiful. Um, and so when I got in the car, I then went to see my friends this evening and I, as soon as I got in the car, there was an Eminem song and the lyrics were, um, it's look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or would you just let it slip 
buy. And so that is really the opportunity that you have now because everything would have been brought up to the surface with the eclipse and it really is a time to say, am I going to sit in fear and not be courageous in love or am I going to walk the walk, talk the talk and be a love warrior, right? And really, really go for it because that is definitely the message that I'm getting because the so it was one song after the next it was ridiculous first of all it was like this one from NMN NMN NM I can't say that look and remember it says look if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment would you capture it or would you just let it slip by the next one was Let It Go, the Frozen theme tune. And it was basically about, because at the moment, um, I've been saying all week on the run up to this eclipse, write down everything about your twin flame journey, all of it, just get it out there. Anything that you thought you've like put to bed and put to rest, just write it all down and burn it because it is time to let go of everything from the past and to close the door on it and to wipe a clean, clean slate and walk into the future, right? The very next song after that was then Love Me Like You Do by Ellie Goulding. So, you know, firstly, what a very odd combination of songs to put on one after the other. Eminem, the theme tune for Frozen and then Ellie Goulding. But the message was very, very clear. You get one chance to walk through this door into more love. But to do that, you've got to let go of everything from the past. And you have to walk in and carry on loving them with all of your heart. Now, the song, which was just so clear. And then I get to my friend's house and they're like, let's watch a film. And they put on a movie, which is Point Break 2. Now, Point Break 2, the remake of Point Break, the Point Break is one of my favourite films, as is my twins. And we've always said that we'd see Point Break 2 together, but it hasn't happened. Anyway, I watched it for the first time today. Unbelievable. It is a film about spiritual enlightenment, and they are going on a journey. Um, the guy is going on a journey to try and do these eight... Um, uh, basically these eight wonders of the world um, but they are seeking to find oneness with the world <laughs> which it was just surreal it was honestly surreal so I was I was listening I was like okay universe I get it I get it I get it we need to step forward and to be strong and be courageous and just go for it right clear all the fears clear all the doubts you know wipe the slate clean and just move on so amazing 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 analogies and healings amazing messages today really really strong and then i just get home and somebody has sent me um this picture which is the pinky promise that she's found uh, that she's come across and it has the heart right in the middle that is made by their two little fingertips so what an amazing thing to also get which is just incredible so remember you are here to move more and more and more and more and more up in the love vibration. If you want to have healing or if you want to join the Crystal Grid, then please do. I'm putting all of the details in the link and it's a really, really powerful time. So for all of you in the States, enjoy the eclipse. I'll be doing an energy read video tomorrow, but the message is this. Again, look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or would you just let it slip by? The choice is yours, so choose love. All right, I hope that helps. If you wanna to come to me and have healing, then please do, or to join the Crystal Grid, or to have an energy read, then again, all of the details are in the link. All right, happy eclipse times, and I will see you back tomorrow. Okay, take care, bye.